welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be week four of the Keto Weekly Weigh-In Update. First, I want to kick off with uh, recapping a little bit about what happened last week. Last week, I had um, gained weight, 5.6 pounds. From 226.4, I went back up to 231.8 pounds. What you do not know is that on Monday and Tuesday, I weighed again just to see what was happening. And I actually went up to 232.8 pounds and stayed that way for two days. And that concerned me. So I made sure I worked very hard this week and that I was, you know, very strict with myself <laughs> because I was, like I told you last week, I was going to lose those 5.6 pounds because I really wanted to have a great success this week. I don't want to come out to you each week and tell you that I'm gaining weight because then what's the point, you know? And this week I actually lost 5.2 pounds. So I did an amazing job this week and I'm very happy. But there are some things that I did to accomplish that. What I did was each day, um, Monday through Friday, I took um, my camera and I videotaped everything that I was gonna be eating Monday through Friday, everything. So Monday, if I was gonna, I, I showed you what I ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as my evening snack, and I recorded that. As well as I told you about some of the workouts I may do. Now, during the week, I only worked out three times, and I mean, maybe for a total of an hour, if that much. I would say 40 minutes out of three workouts altogether, cumulative is about 40 minutes, because my knees and my joints just wouldn't allow me to do it. That's okay. What I did, I will continue to build on this week. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do another three. Do the same thing, it doesn't matter. Until my body is able to do more, that's what I'm gonna do. However, what I did do was I found a substitute for the peanuts and Diet Pepsi, those demon children. Anyway, I found a substitute for them and it's, they, it's bacon. And I um, ate about, and this is gonna sound crazy, but I ate about a pound of bacon a day, but, I can tell you right now, I am fully keto adapted. I monitored my um, my ketones um, by a blood sample. I have one of those monitors that um, you can measure it, and my ketones were 1.5, which is awesome, 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 awesome. So I'm very, very happy about that. And um, my body just trimmed down, and I am gonna add some footage in at the end of this video showing you how my waist and everything trimmed down. I also, I can't believe that, it, you know, 5.4 pounds, no, 5.2 pounds, so those 5.2 pounds in a week, simply from eating the right foods, eating more fat. Every morning for breakfast, I'd have a bulletproof coffee, and then I would have like my snack at 10 o'clock, you know, my shrimp tuna and some bacon to dip into that. I, I used that as my as my, my chip, I use the bacon. And then maybe an avocado with that. For lunch, I'd had a sensible lunch. I may have had, um, I forget what I made, I think roast chicken and spinach one day. And then at night, I'd have that stick of cheese and a boiled egg, boom, that's it. My fat went up through the roof, my energy level went up through the roof, and my body trimmed down. So it was amazing. But what I'm gonna do at the end of this video, I'm not gonna talk a whole bunch this video, because <laughs> I always do. Um, I'm going to show you a collage of the different videos that I made during the week as well as my um, me stepping on the scale for you can see it for yourself. I will say this one thing. I am excited today. I'm receiving a new scale in the mail. It's going to tell you um, it's going to measure your weight, your, your water, your muscle as well as your bone. I've never had one and I'm excited and I can't wait. It is Sunday and the mailman is going to bring it even though it is Sunday. Here they do deliver mail on Sundays. Um, for special packages. So without further ado, anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling again. I'm going to um, roll the footage. Until next week, I'll see you next time and you have a safe week. Bye for now. Okay, everybody, I am dressed and ready for work. Today is my first day at work. Um, my first day back at work and I'm not gonna have any artificial sweeteners, any peanuts or any Pepsi. I am not nervous or anything like that. I'm just concerned with the snacking, but I have packed um, a little of the uh, sh um, the tuna with the um, garlic butter shrimp, and I have some bacon, some cheese, and a boiled egg. So if I happen to get peckish, those are the things that I will snack on. Um, and this morning for breakfast, all I made was a cup of Bulletproof coffee. So this afternoon after work, 
despite knowing I have plantar fasciitis and problem with my joints, I am going running because as I said before, I am extremely dedicated to losing this weight. So yeah, wish me luck and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, everybody, this is the food that I'm bringing with me to work today. Here I have um, two curry, roasted curry chicken legs and some spinach. Um, next to it, I have the um, tuna with the garlic butter shrimp. I have some bacon, a boiled egg. This morning for breakfast, I had a cup of bulletproof coffee and I have three 18 ounce bottles of water. And this evening, I'm gonna go running after work. And that is, this is my whole meal for the day. I probably won't eat dinner because I won't be hungry by then, but if I do, I'll just probably have a light snack again. Anyway, I'll see you a little bit later. Bye. Okay, everybody, I am home from work and I am about to start my workout with Give Me Tim Fitness on YouTube. I've decided not to run because I just want to save my feet and my joints. So I'm going to actually work out to his videos today and I will leave a link in the description box below to his uh, YouTube channel. Well, I'll see you later after the workout. Okay, everybody, I am finished with my workout for today. Um, it was fun, it was vigorous, and I feel like I've accomplished something. I even did some um, sit-ups, uh, some crunches, I did some dumbbell rows, and I also did a my um, dumbbell, my I guess my, I guess it's a, a barbell, that's what it is. I did my barbell rows as well, and I feel good, and I'm going to keep this up for the whole week. So tomorrow I'm going to show you what I'm taking to learn, work for breakfast, lunch, and dinner all throughout the week as well as some of my workouts. And I'm just gonna add little snippets in at the end to punch up my videos a little bit and to show you what I'm actually doing for the week. And because I am <laughs> determined that those 5.6 pounds are gonna go away. I, I really I really don't care, they're, they're going away because that was uncalled for. Some peanuts and some damn Diet Pepsi. Can you believe that? I'm gonna let it go. Okay, so I'm gonna let y'all go for the night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, everybody, good morning. Um, today, this is what I'm having for breakfast. I'm having a Bulletproof uh, tea over here. This is Perfect Peach by Bigelow Tea. I have um, one tablespoon of butter and one teaspoon of heavy whipping cream. Here, I have my bacon, which I'm gonna have with my tuna as a snack um, some portion of the day, probably around 10 o'clock. Something like that when I'm at my desk and I'm feeling peckish. <laughs> it worked out very well yesterday. I also have um, two slices of cheese and a boiled egg because I'm going to work around, I'm trying to get there around seven o'clock. It's actually 4.58 now. I got up at 4.30 and I began cooking. So it's 4.58 now. I'm trying to get ready to get to work early so I can go walking for an hour. This is um, two slices of, uh, two sticks of cheese from Sargento and an egg. And for lunch, I have some turnip greens that I'm making with um, some roast chicken that you can see here, my Wolfgang Puck. And I'm gonna let that um, cook for an hour. And then, um, yeah, it'll, it'll, the bell will ring and it'll tell me that I'm done. I'm gonna pack it up in my little um, container here and then that'll be it. So I'll see you later. Hey everybody, later. today is Wednesday, August 21st. And my plans for today is that I'm not going to work out after work because yesterday I did, well I exercised on Monday and Tuesday. Monday my plantar fasciitis started acting up in my right foot, but I got that back under control. And Wednesday, no yesterday, Tuesday, my um, leg, my knee almost went out on my right leg for me because I was really walking that a mile and a half at work. I was really humping it. So um, last night I soaked in a tub and some, um, what is that called again? Epsom salt with eucalyptus oil, and that really helped, and I rest my leg last night. So today, I'm gonna take a break with the working out on my legs. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift some weights when I get home, and I'm just gonna do some like push-ups against the wall, as well as some sit-ups, anything that doesn't require me to use my legs, because I am determined. So far, I did get on the scale today just to check because I was curious, and I did drop two pounds so far, and it's been now Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so it's been three days and I've lost two pounds. So hopefully I can get the last 3.6 off by this Sunday and I can be back to my 226 that I was the week previous. 
Let's see what happens. Anyway, I got to get off to work now, and I will talk to you later. Bye. I added in this but piece of footage to, to show others that you can't stand up to temptation. My nephew brought over this piece of his birthday cake, and I had to say no, and I gave it to early my parents so that they can eat it instead. So you can say I'm no to have temptation. Shrimp tuna with some bacon and maybe a little bit of avocado, half an avocado. And then for lunch, I'm going to have some roast pork. The roast pork show that I made last night along with um, half a cup of green beans. And then for an evening snack, probably around 6.30 or something like that since I stop at 7, it'll be two boiled eggs and maybe two boiled eggs and a stick of cheese. Believe it or not, for the past two days, I have not eaten any of those boiled eggs or cheese that I um, had planned to eat. So they still I have a clutch of boiled eggs sitting in my refrigerator. But I just wanted to drop in and show you that, and I'll see you at the next meal. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. Thank God, the last day of the week. So what I'm just going to quickly do is let you know a little bit about my day. Today, I'm just going to pack up my breakfast. I'm going to show you what that is. My, actually, my, all my meals for the day. I'm going to show you what that is. After work today, I'm going to come home, and I'm going to do a half hour of cardio kickboxing. And then I'm just going to edit some more videos. That's pretty much it. So I'll just show you what I'm going to have for breakfast. For my meals for the day, I keep saying breakfast, I guess, because it's morning, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to have for all my meals for the day, and yeah, I'll see you later afterwards. Okay, everybody, here are the foods I will eat today. First off, I have my bulletproof coffee, which I will drink for breakfast. Then for a snack around 10 o'clock, as usual, I'm going to have tuna, avocado, and some bacon. Then for lunch, I have some roast pork shoulder and a little bit of green beans, a half a cup. And I have two boiled eggs in the evening time if I get hungry, as well as um, my water. Um, normally I drink um, 64 ounces. I already drank one 18 ounce already today. Here's two more 18 ounces, and this one is 16. So I just have to calculate that up. I haven't even checked. Um, I'm actually running late for work, but um, I will talk to everybody, you Everybody, here are the results everybody's been waiting for. My second weigh-in, I was 226.4 pounds. And on the next clip, you're going to see that I gained 5.6 pounds. I went up to 231.8 pounds, which was very disappointing. And then I actually gained another pound during the week, and I was 232.8. Okay, everybody, today is, I think, week four weigh-in. So we're going to find out together what the verdict is. So let's step on the scale and see what happens. I'm going to step on. The scale is going to have to... Reset, so I'm going to step off. I'm going to let it set. It's going to go to a C. Now I've got to step on again. I don't know what's up with the scale. 227.4 pounds. That is freaking Okay, amazing. everybody, these are a few pictures from week two. You can see how thick my waist is here. And also from the front, I was a lot wider. My muffin top was wider as well. And my back was also uh, thicker and wider. I cannot believe the difference to week four. Okay, everybody, I just wanted to come on quickly just to show you what my waist and the lower half of my body is looking like. Uh, this is after a week. Uh, I don't, you can't see my face right now because I don't have any makeup on. Um, so anyway, this is what my waist looks like right now. I'll step back a little bit further. You really can't see me, so I'm coming up to the camera. And look at this. All I have is this right here, this little small little muffin top. Push that in, it would be it would be wonderful. But anyway, this is what it looks like right now. This is me from the side, and I'm not sucking in my stomach because if I was, it would go like this. But this is it right here. It's it's flat. I mean, it's flat, and I don't have anything on underneath. This is amazing. This is my back. I still have my love handles but I'm going to work on that here is the other side and yeah I'm just so excited and no I do not have anything on underneath my um top it is all me all me so yeah this it was a lesson learned drop the peanuts in a diet pepsi and you will trim down Hey everybody, I thought I'd give you a side-by-side -side comparison. And the pink is week two, and the purple is today, September 25th, 2016. And you can see the difference in my waistline. I'm so happy to report that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next week. And as always, you have a blessed week. Oh.